all right guys um greetings to everyone listening and hearing me right now there's a little issue that just came up even as i'm just uh, uh going through the day today so i just got this message from somebody that she cannot actually install woocommerce and she's seeing this error message on her dashboard that that tells her this plugin doesn't work with your version of php so this error you will likely meet whenever you are trying to install a new WooCommerce. It just takes you to the old version of PHP. Uh, I think WordPress has been talking about it for a long time right now. So if you find yourself having this kind of issue, this is how to solve it and solve it right away. So first of all, uh, when you try to install WooCommerce, every other, every other uh, plugin are showing well that there, there is no issue there. So you can easily install them. Then WooCommerce requires uh, a higher version of uh, uh, PHP so that it's able to install without issue. So what you need to do is simple. So you need to first of all log into your cPanel uh, platform. That is your cPanel area. So the first thing you need to do is to come to your cPanel area. You have to log into your cPanel. You can just put your name, your website address, dot com forward slash cPanel. And then you get a place where you put your username and password. And after you do that, of course, you get it from your host company. If you are using SmartWeb, you get it from SmartWeb on your dashboard. Okay. Once you have your username and password, you log in and then you find yourself on this dashboard. So you scroll down, okay, and locate a multi PHP manager. You click on it. Okay. So once you click on it, it loads on this page. You can see it says PHP 5.6 uh deprecating replication warning so this php version and this php version are out of uh, uh use so you should not be using them so you have to update so the first thing you have to do here is to click on this little checkbox where you see this your url click on the checkbox so once you click on the checkbox like this you now go up here php version so you select the exact php you want to install right now okay so uh in this case I, I recommend you install PHP version 7.1. So once you click on it, then you apply, you just click apply. So it will show just like this that successfully applied. And then you will go back to your page like this and refresh. So everything should be working now. So you can see right here, your WooCommerce is up. You can easily install the WooCommerce without issue, right? So that's how to solve that PHP error problem on your WooCommerce when you try to install it into your WordPress account. So I hope you enjoy practicing this and solving this problem. Stay strong. Just an update to keep us updated. Thanks for watching. Stay strong.